Hi guys, I'm reviewing the the Common Rider Gaim Mini Sengoku Driver, which I got on Amazon for like eight bucks. It comes on like a clam, not really a clam, but like a blistered pack clamshell type thing. So, got a nice couple pictures of Gaim, because the Sengoku Driver would be up here. Common Rider Gaim on the top that probably says Sengoku Driver, or whatever. Uh, mini or a Gaim logo there. All the different things that it does, how you put it together and everything. Okay. So, the belt comes with these straps. I'm not putting the straps on because they're a pain to take off. I did put them on earlier and take them off, but they're just a pain because they have these like little nubs. Because you gotta feed them in through here until the little nub thing gets into the little grooves right there and then it's locked in and the only way you to actually be able to like take it off is if you like forced it out and then stuck like a butter knife which is what I did in there and then start feeding it forward so yeah and as you can see they just basically just work like so just put them in and then well like like so basically you just like push them in and feed them in until they lock and then there you go I don't believe this will fit any human being at all. It might fit a dog. It most likely could fit a dog or a cat. So, as for the belt, let's first get all the uh, cool features that the belt can do. It can do this. Because it's spring-loaded and it's amazing. You do gotta be careful because if you hold it down, it does get stuck. And then uh, it's got its the Gaim faceplate, which can pop off. That's actually why this is here. You can push it out. Now, as for pushing it out, I don't know if there's another plate. Is it if there's like other mini drivers like this or whatever, where you can get other faceplates? But if you guys know anywhere where you can get other faceplates. Um, please just tell me because I would totally love like a barren faceplate for this thing. But yeah, that's all this does. It don't believe, yeah, it doesn't come off of the main belt piece because it's screwed in. And then for the lock seed, it got the die die mar and all the. This basically has everything that the actual lock seed has, just no lights and sounds, and it's more hollow foil. Now compared to an actual Loxseed, here's the Kiva Loxseed, the only Lox, well one of the two Loxseeds I actually have, which as you can see it has the uh, like hollow foil stickers on it as well. But I mean like they got like almost everything basically like matched up pretty well, even the speakers up top. And like the little like nub for where the drill for where the screw is on this, they actually just molded in a piece of plastic there, and then it just like folds up. This one is a lot tighter than this because like like with this, if you just for reference, I'm just gonna like eh, it like flops all the way down. Of course, you know, they both open, but this one doesn't have like the little clip because it actually doesn't clip in and work properly, but yeah. So that's that, and here's this, so let's get down to tensioning, so. Eh. It doesn't actually open, so you just pull it, but in the show, or like you've seen, you would push it back and it would fling open and, and because this is a candy co toy lock seat it doesn't say the name but it would say orange orangey and you'd put it in and again these don't twirl see it this this part comes off just because that's what this one's made but like it doesn't twirl this one twirls which gets really hard to bother bother with but then you just close it sorry uh, been watching Drive lately. So you close it, and boom, the lock seed's on there. You'd hear the Gaim chime, because you have the Gaim faceplate in, and then you just... And because this isn't like the other one, it doesn't fold open, you gotta actually fold it down yourself, but there you go. 
he does the henshin in the common rider guide orange arms orange scotch orange ole orange sparking still orange sparking cuz cuz these locks only have 3 moves you can close it and do this countless times you could just have it halfway open and just have it be like a failed engine and if you actually hold it up there until the blade actually gets stuck now it's not going to do it there you go you could have it be like it's mid henshin or whatever and he just got stuck or whatever um this thing I got like again for like eight bucks on Amazon I was surprised with how big it was I thought it was gonna be like maybe this big maybe this big because I was watching a video on a mini Sengoku driver turned out to be the gash upon candy toy and this is not that same Sengoku driver but you know boom boom drive or gaim eh eh common rider common common rider first attack second attack third attack Now then, uh, this will be the uh, first of many videos I will hopefully be uploading eventually in my times for the awesome days that will be known as the Common Gelider. First inaugurated by the Radio Sentai Cast Ranger guys, which I am a crew of. I am the, ironically, fitting, I am the orange caster, so... Radio Sentai Cast Ranger Orange. Um, if you like Tokusatsu stuff, they're awesome. They got their podcast. If you like Power Rangers and you're just watching this because I reviewed a couple Power Rangers things, they do have a Power Rangers podcast that they do called Silver Metal. I was on. I've actually been on that twice. I've been on Radio Sentai Cast Ranger like once, but um, at the moment because. Dino Charge isn't airing, they don't have any episodes up for Cast Ranger at the moment, or for Silver Metal, which is their other show, but if you look on their uh, Podbean or in the, like, backlog of the, uh, Amazon, of the, uh, iTunes thing, you can most likely find it. Oh, now that, actually, now they mention it, I like that because of the way that it's built on the bottom of the lock. This I can't, sh I cannot show on the actual locks because I don't own one. But like right here, essentially, would be where the on and off switch would be for like the official lock seat. So I like how it's molded to look kind of like the on off switch. Also, I don't think that was planned at all. And I think that's just something I noticed. But yeah, and then you just, eh, eh. I'm just gonna play with this for a while. As I said, this was a lot bigger. I was kind of expecting the entire thing to be maybe the size of the lock of the lock seat sideways, and then having like a really small orange lock seat because I saw the Gashapon version of one of these being reviewed, not the actual version that I'm looking at being reviewed. And I think I might be the only person to review one of these. So, anyways, uh, check out Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Check out Silver Metal if you're in the Power Rangers instead. Um, check out Dan's Toku Rants if you want. Um, if you're looking for other Power Ranger related stuff, uh, MMPR Toys with uh, Bruno and Mia, they do a lot of stuff. Shuken Shinobi does a lot of stuff via for Power Ranger stuff. MGO 316. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this has been the, I'm going to call this the uh, medium, or the uh, regular Sengoku driver, since the other one's called the DX, which means deluxe, and the other one is in the smaller ones, the mini, so I'm just going to nickname this one the regular Sengoku driver, even though it's not, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If anyone knows where I can find other faceplates for this thing, let me know. 
I really want more face plates and maybe more locks if you can find those too. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.